Well, hi there folks, it's Mark Dunn again and I just want to welcome you to another session of my SQL Server 2012 for Developers course for WinElect Now. This is session 7 and the topic for this session is how to modify data. We're really going to jump in and learn a lot about this subject. As usual, here's the slide to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a Microsoft Regional Director covering the Southeast USA. I'm also a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional in the area of VisualBasic.net, as well as being the president of Dunn Training Incorporated, an Atlanta-based training company that's been in business for a little over 10 years now. In addition to that, I'm a Microsoft Certified Database Administrator, a Solution Developer, and a Certified Trainer. And I've been teaching thousands of students over the past 15 plus years about working with SQL Server. So I hope you enjoy this session. All right, just to show you what we're going to be covering in this session, uh, we're going to learn everything. Next, we'll move on and take a look at using updates. Updates allow us to modify specific column values in one or more rows in a table. And I made a few notes down here for you. I specifically wanted to call out the syntax for an update. So let's take a look at that syntax. We do an update with a table name. You can use a set statement to assign a value or an expression. You could do some math here if you wanted to, to calculate a value, or use a function if you wished. But we assign that to a particular column. And we're not limited to just working with one column per statement. We can use commas to separate out a list of columns and assign different expressions to those. In its simplest form, that's all there is to an update statement. You got to be careful though, the WHERE condition is incredibly important. If you leave off the WHERE condition, the update will make these changes to every... All right folks, we've got one more topic to cover, and uh, this, this is really a good one. We're going to look at something called a merge. And uh, this is one of those topics that I run into that often developers just don't know what's there. So, uh, so I want to get you clued in and make sure you understand exactly the way this works. So merge is an incredibly powerful uh, ability that SQL Server has. And we wind up using merge whenever we want to take multiple rows from one table and synchronize them with another table. And, you know, in fact, we, we wind up, as you see in the syntax here, calling out the target table versus the source table. So the syntax for this, and in fact, I need to add one more thing down here that I forgot. When you're using a merge at the very end, you have to terminate it with a semicolon. I put that in my notes, but I didn't put it in my...